Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzham.com and today we'll be going over Rolex's Deep Sea Deep Blue James Cameron Limited Edition. The model number for this watch is 116660. So before we go before we start, I'll be letting you know that we'll be doing an unboxing, we'll be reviewing the case, I'll show you how to adjust the time, we'll also be going over the bracelet, and I'll show you where you can find this watch for the lowest possible price. Okay, so when receiving this watch brand new, you'll be receiving it in this nice little Rolex, green Rolex box here with booklets of information located in the top pocket that you can pull down. Right here we have information about the deep sea and we also have the, Syrian, uh, the warranty card located here in a leather card holder. Okay, so let's go ahead and re review the case now. So the case size is 40, uh, 44 millimeters in di uh, 44 millimeters in diameter. That's from my index finger. That's from my index finger here to my thumb. The th the thickness of the case, as you can see, has a very high profile, and the, th the thickness is 17.7 millimeters, and five and a half of those millimeters is for this dome sapphire dome sapphire crystal. So it's a very thick sapphire crystal that protects the dial uh, protects the dial. Additionally, the, whole, the case is made out of a very durable 904L steel. The dial is a beautiful gradient of blue to black, which represents that symbol of descent from the top of the ocean down to the, down to the abyss below. Right here we have the deep sea and green text, and that also represents uh, James, the color of the submarine used in James Cameron's movie for the deep sea challenge. The dial is a maxi dial, as the markers are much larger and are much larger, about 30% larger than normal Rolex markers and easier to read. They are luminescent up to eight hours. And instead of having that uh, green glow, these, the glow is actually a blue glow, which matches very nicely with the dial. Okay. The date is kept at the three o'clock position located here, and there is actually no Cyclops lens that sits on top of the case because actually that, because of the thickness of that sapphire crystal, that five and a half uh, millimeters, it actually adds a little magnification to the dial and is already uh, very easy to read. Okay, the bezel is made out of a black ceramic, which is uh, which is extremely scratch resistant, but it is susceptible to cracking when, when damaged. On the side, we have something a little special for uh, the deep seas, and here it is. As you can see, there's this little O-ring here, and what that is is that that's the Rolex's helium escape valve. As divers traverse down into the ocean, the pressure on them gets uh, the water pressure on them gets much stronger. So when coming back up, the divers have to sit in a pressurized chamber, which is filled with a mixture of gas that has helium in it, and that helium gas, the molecules are so small, it can actually get into the watch, and uh, with a difference in pressure, it can, actually put, it can actually pop out the sapphire crystal. So what they did is they made, a, the, they made this helium escape valve spring-based, so when the pressure between the inside and the outside um, reaches three to five bars, it will actually open up and release that helium that snuck inside to keep the watch safe. But overall, this overall the deep sea deep blue is just really absolutely built with durability in mind with that thick sapphire crystal, that really strong 904L steel, and that helium escape uh, escape valve. It says that really they try to build a submarine for your hand, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and review the crown now. So as with most Rolexes, the crown is located at the three o'clock three o'clock position. Very simple screw down crown that unscrews counterclockwise. This I'll do here. So once you go ahead and pop uh, pop that out, this will be in the winding hand, uh, hand winding position, in which you can wind the watch um, up to anywhere from 20 to, 20 to 30 clockwise winds, and that's the, really the maximum you should be doing because you actually might cause damage to the watch if you go any more. Okay, with another click of the crown, it'll put you in a date setting position in which you can set the date. As you can see there, the date at the three o'clock position uh, changes very quickly as I rotate it clockwise. You'll hear a click every time, and this is called a quick set date feature, which is very nice. It's much better than having to do two revolutions of the hands around the dial just to move, get the date to move once. Okay, so with a final click, that will actually stop the second hands 
movement as you see there as I pull it out bam see the second hand has stopped uh, this is the hand setting position in which you can adjust the hands however you like uh, it is bi-directional and once the crown is placed back snug against the case the second hands will start moving again and always always make sure that whenever you're done adjusting what you need to adjust to screw the crown back against the case okay so let's go ahead and move move on to a review of the back of the a review of the back of the case now so as you can see there we have Rolex is simple uh, simple oyster case but it's a little bit different as you can see there's kind of that uh, darkish grayish area and what that is is that that's actually a grade 5 titanium that they added on for more durability of the case it has a sea dweller sea dweller name engraved around uh, engraved around the top and also has the water resistance engraved as well and let me go ahead and show you that so at the right side there you can see it says 12,800 12, feet or three three thousand uh three thousand nine hundred meters and that's an insane amount of water resistance i mean nor i don't think people would normally go down that far but this watch can do it and this watch was made for that james cameron um the james cameron deep sea challenger movie so not only is this watch special because this watch is specially made for james cameron I mean, you have other watches like the Explorer 2 with the Steve McQueen, but that Steve McQueen watch wasn't specifically made for made for uh, Steve McQueen. This James Cameron watch was specifically made with for James Cameron. And to put to, to put into perspective of how much water resistance that is, the basic Submariner diver, uh, which is another diver's watch, the basic Submariner only goes down 300 meter or 300 meters or about a thousand feet. So this almost has 12,000 more feet of water resistance than that Submariner. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the bracelet now. So the bracelet has, um, the bracelet is just a very nice satin finished bracelet. It has some high polish on the outer edges for a little more shine or a little more reflectability. And the class is, uh, Rolex is very nice uh, folding oyster class very easy to use as you can see I'll just pop that out this is the safety which is a little metal hinge here that sits on top of the oyster which is in this portion okay so it's oyster and safety very simple very easy to use the Rolex name is engraved onto the clasp blade very nice very nice pattern as you can see there and one one cool thing about this uh, it really gets better because with the newer style heavy bracelet, Rolex introduces the glide lock, the glide lock feature, which is this, which is this feature here. As you can see, the bracelet pops out, and you see little rivets, little rivets along the clasp itself. And what that allows you to do, it allows you to adjust the bracelet. Actually, there's actually a back portion to it as well. You have to pop this portion out. And this has little hinges that hooks on to the, the back of the bracelet clasp right there. And you can adjust this with two millimeter increments for a total of 20 millimeters of bracelet adjustment. And that's really, really a good quality of life feature. As you can see, this is the bracelet when it's fully out. This is it when it's fully in. So, why this is important is because with the with divers watches they wear wetsuits so they need to adjust be able to adjust that bracelet let's just say you need to adjust that much it hooks in nice and tight very secure and it lets them adjust this bracelet uh, this bracelet over their wetsuit but i'm not a diver so what does this mean for me well i mean even if it is for everyday use like if you gain a little weight you lose a little weight you can adjust it however you need or if you plan on giving it as a gift you don't have to send this to send this watch to a jeweler to have a remover link or add addition add an additional link just to get that watch size to the person you want to give it to so this is really really a nice feature to have let me go ahead and put that back all right so once again just demonstrating that's the oyster and there's the safety right there okay so actually let me go ahead and actually show you this watch on the wrist now a 
Look at that. That dial is just absolutely gorgeous with that transition from the blue, blue to the black. And the one thing that I want to mention is that very high profile on the wrist. So uh, those who wear suits a lot, this might not be a good choice for you because you might stretch out your cuff or get to get this watch stuck on the cuff. Uh, other than that, if you have a bigger wrist, definitely this is a great watch to have. It's got, it's got extreme durability and really isn't any different for any large uh, Panerai watches or Audemars Piguet watches. So it's really not encumbersome. However, if you, however, if you do have a smaller wrist, um, you probably would want to rethink that, but it really isn't that encumbersome as a watch. Okay, so if you have any questions about this watch, please leave a comment below. If you want to buy this watch or any other, mod any other models for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. Uh, we offer free shipping and a one year warranty. If you like our videos, like, com like comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon.